at the Ronald McDonald House and I have board member Heather Sheckler with me and uh, she's going to answer a few questions so you guys can get some information. Um, what are the ways that you can donate here to the Ronald McDonald House? Well, the Ronald McDonald House is a nonprofit, so you can donate in a variety of ways. You can make a gift directly to the house, um, but some of the really easy ways that you can give is at your local McDonald's. Those canisters that are outside of your drive-through window, um, you might not realize that, but all of that money stays here locally. So when you put your change in from from your meal or go to McDonald's purposefully to give us some change, that really makes a huge difference in the funding of this house locally. Um, you can also contribute pop tabs. There are uh, donation locations around the community that you might see. You can drop off your pop tabs. That helps us out as well. And there are various ways you can support the house directly through um, wish list items that we might have, sponsoring a day in the house. Uh, there's lots of ways you can get involved. Okay, and um, what exactly would you say the benefits of um, for children that are here having their family gives them? I think there are benefits for the children and also for the families. Um, there is a huge stress that happens when your child is sick. Um, it is something that most parents can't imagine, and so when you're faced with that, any comfort and support that you can have goes a long way. Um, the fact that our house is located within the hospital walls, that parents never have to leave the roof where their child is under, is, is a really big thing in the um, kind of psychology and healing of the parents and also for the children. Children knowing that their parents are close, it helps um, that healing relationship and the healing occur uh, in a lot better way. Okay, so because of all the donations, everything that the family goes through here is free, free to them, no cost at all. completely free. They're just welcome to come in and use the house to whatever needs that they have, if it's to prepare a meal, if it's to take a nap, if it's to shower, um, everything is done free of charge. And, and the families feel so blessed because of those donors. They know that they're here because someone else gave and thought of them ahead of time. And, and that helps heal and care for those families um, in ways we can't express. And it's pretty much full service. I mean, you got the kitchen, you got the showers, you got the bedrooms. So Absolutely. It's a really great thing you guys have here. And people use it in so many different ways. Uh, personally, my daughter was admitted um, back to the hospital a few day, a few hours after we went home with her as a newborn um, for jaundice. And in the scope of reasons that people use the house, that's probably a little one, but it was really nice to know it was up here. We could come up and we could get snacks, we could get beverages, we could just take a break from some of the hospital surroundings, um, but we didn't go far. We were, you know, just a few steps away from our daughter right down the hall, and it was really nice to know that, um, you know, we didn't need to stay overnight here, but it was still a place that we could utilize, and again, it was completely... And what are the uh, stipulations you have to have to be able to um, utilize the house here? You have to be a family member of, of a patient who is 21 or under here within Parkview Hospital. All right, well, thank you. Ronnie Wiedenhofer here with me, who is a volunteer at the Ronald McDonald House, and uh, why don't you kind of describe what it is that you do here when you volunteer? I have the first shift in the mornings um, here at the house, and basically I, when I come in and, and open up, I get the house ready for the people who are going to be using it that day. Get the coffee made, make sure that, the, uh, that there are clean linens out for the guests, and uh, just get things picked up and, and ready for the day to begin. All right, and how do you think you being here and volunteering, how has that affected you and uh, the families that use the Ronald McDonald House. I always look forward to my, my Thursday morning volunteering here. Um, the people are always wonderful. They're very gracious. The staff is fantastic and the people who come in are just looking for a place to rest and get, get away from things and I feel like this is kind of a nest for them here at the hospital and it, it just it's really very fulfilling to, to see that you're just a little spark of sunshine in somebody's whose life is, is not just the, the very best right at that moment. All right, well, thank you.
you for, you know, not only talking to us, but yeah, for exactly. spending your time to volunteer yeah, here. It's a awesome. pleasure. Thank you very much. We are back with Lisa Pakula, who's the executive director here at the uh, Ronald McDonald House in Parkview. And uh, Lisa, why don't you go ahead and give us a little history of the Ronald McDonald House. Well, Ronald McDonald House Charity started in 1974, where Philadelphia Eagles football player Fred Hill and his wife Fran had a daughter Kimberly with leukemia. And they had obviously no accommodations for parents at that point. So um, he actually started the process and, and Ray Kroc got involved for McDonald's. They start, opened the first Ronald McDonald House in Philadelphia. And, and now, um, you know, this many years later, there's 303 houses in over 30 countries. So it's really grown. We started this house in 2002 with Parkview Hospital, uh, one of the first in-hospital houses in the world. Uh, at this point, out of 303 houses, there are only six that are inside the hospital, so that's quite a compliment to Parkview Hospital that they're willing to give up hospital space. Um, so we're very proud of that partnership. Okay, and it's currently in Parkview here. Obviously, we're here. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be moving to the Parkview Regional Health Center, so is that one going to be in the hospital, and what are the added benefits of moving it there? It is going to be in the hospital, and again, you know, that's a real testament to Parkview Regional Medical Center's com commitment to family-centered care that they're willing to give up over 9,000 square feet of uh, hospital space for us. Um, the advantages that there are going to be is that we're going to be able to expand our space and serve more families. We have six guest rooms here. We will have uh, 10 or 11 guest rooms at the new space. Uh, we will have more uh, community area for our families. We'll have a community room. We'll be able to do additional programming and allow groups in the community to meet, come in and see the house and have a meeting space. So we will be able to, to have so many more opportunities to serve our guests. Okay, and when is that process going to be completed, do you think? We will be moving in to our new home in uh, December of 2012. So right around the corner. Right around the corner. Well, thanks again, Lisa. You have been a pleasure. Oh, thanks, Jenna. It's <laughs> been a lot of fun.